11. Yes? Now I'll show different parts of the heart here on the phantom and real heart on the first floor. You can see base of the heart basis cortis and apex, apex cortis. A longitudinal axis goes obliquely from the right to left down. <coughs> Here you can see left ventricle and right ventricle, ventriculus. The uh, sinister ventriculus that that's like you see right ventricle is like it anteriorly. Posteriorly you can see two atriums, atrium, dextrum and atrium sinistro, and that is you know. And this is the left ventricle, it is bigger on the posterior view. It is sinus venosus, venous sinus. Like you see, each atrium has the auricle, auriculum dextrum, auriculum sinistrum. They increase the volumes of the atriums. On the section, you can see two atriums and two ventricles. Two valves uh, are located between the right and left chambers of the heart. Tricuspid valve is located into the foramen atrioventriculari dextrum and bicuspid valve in the left half of the heart. It is called mitral valve 2. There are three cusps here, cuspis anterior, cuspis posterior, cuspis septaris, and anterior and posterior cusps here. Horda tendina unites the margins of the cusps with the papillary muscles. Which vessels open in the chambers? You can see aorta originate from the left ventricle, goes obliquely, it is divided into the ascending part, uh, arcus aorta and descending portion and arterial blood goes drains along the aorta and different vessels to our organs and parts of the body after changes between the gases in the tissues the venous blood unites into two veins vena cava superior vena cava inferior which open into the right atrium it is a greater circle of blood circulation. Laser pulmonary circle originates from the right ventricle by means of the pulmonary trunk, which divides into two pulmonary veins, which go into the lungs. In the lungs, we have the changes, opposite changes between the gases. Yes, and arterial blood drains along the four pulmonary veins into the left atrium. Atrium, atrium. After it into the left ventricle and again into the left. There are some forms in the right atrium. Atroventricular foramen, foramens of the upper and lower cave veins. Uh, veno, sinus venosus, which carries the blood, venous blood from the heart itself. It opens into the right atrium by means of own foramen. And during during intrauteral period, we have the mixing between the blood into the right and left atriums by means of the paramnus. After born, it must be closed during three months, and blood doesn't mix here because the baby begin inspirate, no, respirate. Yes. Mm. Так, you must now list of the myocardial, oh, heart wall. It is serous layer, inner layer of the pericardium. It is called epicardium. After that, myocardium. It is bigger, thicker in the right ventricle than, or left ventricle than in the right one. And it is very thin in the atriums. There are two layers in the atriums longitudinal and circular and three layers here longitudinal and the long, uh, superficial layer from the left ventricle goes and is continuous with the inner layer in the myocardium of the right one and opposite from the right 
ventricle, external layer of the myocardium uh, becomes the inner layer in the left one. And middle layer is the circular. It forms into ventricular septum. You must now blood supply from the heart and you must now let the two pulmonary Oh, sorry, two um, coronary arteries, right and left, originates from the water in its beginning portion at the level of the semilunar valves of it, cusps of valves. And um, we have two carotid arteries, oh, carotid, coronary arteries, arteria coronaria dextra and arteria coronaria sinistra. Dexter artery, arteria coronaria dextra gives branches to the right ventricle and discontinues with the intraventricular posterior artery. Arteria coronaria sinistra divides into the anterior intraventricular artery, arteria interventricularis anterior, and arteria surrounding the heart and, ah, ah, and supplies the left ventricle. And they give branches to the atriums too. All blood from the heart drains into the vena cava. Oh, he cava. <laughs> vena um, cordis magna, vena cordis parva, vena interventricularis. They unite into the sinus venosus. It is called sinus coronarius. Venosus too. Conducting system. Galina Stepanovna today will draw on the skin of the Con, uh, innovation of the heart mm -hmm. and you will draw to and she will tell you about pericardium and topography of the heart. Now let's go to the museum and uh, oh, in the, on the